Tim Walling here with SC Legal Carry. We train people to get a CWP in the state of South Carolina. If you need a concealed weapons permit, please look us up online at sclegalcarry.com. Now, what I want to talk about today is lasers on your firearms. For me, lasers are very helpful. I wear glasses. I don't like wearing these glasses. I need these glasses to see things up close right here. So sometimes it's really difficult for me to see the sights on the firearm. These firearms are clear. And this is a Taurus firearm, and all I've done here is added a laser grip to it, okay? The laser is mounted here. The activation button is right here. So when you push that button in, it turns on. So when I have my grip on my pistol, my middle finger right here, this finger, when I tighten up, it turns the laser on. Turn around here where you can see it. So I tighten up, the laser turns on on the firearm, and I loosen up, it turns off. It's all related to how much pressure I apply with my hand to the grip of the gun. The firearm that we are using in this series is the Ruger. And you can buy one for this Ruger if you want. It is one screw here in the bottom that comes out. You slide your grip on, tighten it up, get one with the activation button under here. You tighten up, it turns on. And when you set it, the round should impact where the red dot is on the firearm. It takes a lot of guesswork out of it. If you have issues with eyes and seeing and wear glasses, you wake up at night, you're sleepy, you're waiting on your eyes to focus and change, you grab your firearm, then there are no glasses needed with this one. You just tighten up, it turns on. The bullet's gonna hit where the red dot is when you squeeze the trigger. Also, when you come from the holster and come forward, your red dots on and this thing's ready to fire right away for you. So lasers are something you can put on your guns if you wanna do that. Guys, let's take a quick look at these semi-automatic pistols with lasers on. This is the one we're using, the G2C, and you can get a laser for this. It looks just like this one. This is my Walter, this is a PPQ. Let me drop this side on it, it's clear so that you can see it. This is a clamshell laser that's been mounted on here. Couple of little screws that tighten up right here, snaps on. Activation button is right up under here. You squeeze this little rubber pad when you grip the firearm and the laser turns on. So I'm gripping the gun, my middle finger right here. I tighten up and the laser turns on on the gun, okay? Very easy to use, very easy to install. This does change your holster. Look how large this is. So it does change your holster on your gun. So you have to get a different holster. If you think you're gonna run lasers on your gun, go ahead and get them and attach them on and buy your holsters to fit your lasers. Comes out of the holster, you tighten up and the laser's on as soon as you come forward to use your firearm. Gordon. I don't like the ones with the switches where you gotta reach up here and find the switch and turn the switch on with your finger. I like the ones with the activation buttons mounted in them. So when you grip your pistol, that laser's on immediately and you can use it instantly. Most attacks happen within 20 feet, 1.4 seconds or less. You gotta be able to draw from the holster and get that first shot off in 1.4 seconds or less. You're gonna slow yourself down if you're looking for some kind of laser. Make sure when this thing comes out, it's on and it's ready to go instantly when you grab that pistol. Let's just take a quick peek at lights. So your Picatinny rail on your firearm, this is your Picatinny rail up here on your firearm, our G2C. And you can get one to fit this if you want to. What I've done here is as I've got an O-light, the gun is clear, decock it. I've got an O-light mounted on the front of my Taurus TH9. Very easy to put on and install. This little button right here flips forward. That light comes right off. Here's your Picatinny rail. This attaches to the front of the Picatinny rail. It snaps in place. Really easy to put on there. If you need to use it, the buttons to operate it are right here and right here. So if you're lefty or righty, or if you wanna use your thumb, so here's my thumb. I put my thumb on it, push down, it turns on. Very easy to turn on. I put my thumb on it, push down and let go. That turns on and stays on. I push again, it turns right back off on the firearm. So I can hold it down so I got light and then let go and it turns back off. I can hit it real quick and it stays on. 
for me. And it's over here, so if you are a lefty, you can operate it also. And if you wanted to reach up with your index finger and operate it here, you could do that also on the firearm. I really love the Olight. I like the way it pops right off. It's so simple to come off and put on another gun. You charge it up, it's got an internal battery. You charge it right here. It's got a little magnetic piece. I keep it plugged up by the refrigerator. I just go stick it on there and charge it. I don't even have to take it off the firearm. I can leave it on the gun and clear make safe with the firearm and go in there and lay it down and attach the magnet to it and let it charge with it still on the gun. This fits multiple guns. I move it around between my firearms. It's just another option for you. And as I said, if you want to run a light on your gun, so you've always got a light with you, you've got a Picatinny rail here on this G2C that we're using in this series. You can get a light that'll mount on here for you so you can do the same thing. Remember folks, be a responsible adult. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes. Till next time, take care everybody.